service has been around for about 30 years but a lot of the work that you're doing is sort of in the background so share with us what you do. Hawaii Information Service is the MLS provider for Kauai and the Big Island and it started in 1984 and Kauai and the Big Island had the foresight to say hey you know maybe we should do our own MLS. What we do is we just make sure that the realtors have the correct information so that when they are working with their clients, they can get them the very best place and you know whatever is on their wish list. So that's what we do is we provide that information in one place and we make sure that it's accurate. About roughly how many realtors are using your services and how do they access it? What do they do? On both islands combined, we probably have about 1,600 agents and what they do is they'll log into our system and they will enter all of their property information there all of their listing information there and from there it goes into a database and it becomes searchable. It also gives buyers the opportunity to sort of have access to that Absolutely. too, right? So, yeah. So are you um, instrumental in providing that website, that database and maintaining it? Yes, we are. So one of the things that we're very proud of is this website, this software is something that we built. So it's proprietary, and at the time we built it, and I think even till now, all, uh, although others are attempting it, we are the only one of its kind. And what makes us unique is that the data that the realtor puts in is integrated with the public record data that is available actually to anyone. And so when the realtor searches for a property, they not only see the data that they put in and another agent put in, they see other things like when it was built, they'll see like tax information, and this is something that a lot of other MLSs are trying to pursue. Previously they would have to go dig up those records or look in books yes. or find it other ways, right? Yes, and right now you can get it on the county site, but what we're proud of in our system is, is just the way that you can search it quickly and you can search a lot of different ways. How have the services that you provide changed the working environment for realtors? It's made information available to them quickly. It's accurate and it's consistent information. We have an entire department that's just dedicated to making sure that our information is correct. How can the average consumer who's not a realtor but maybe is thinking about buying a property take advantage of your services? We do have a website called alohaliving.com. You can plug in your criteria and properties will come up and from there you can also find your agent and it's really just that simple. And those would be specifically for Kauai and Big Island properties? Yes. Right. Okay, great. So in addition to your core business of providing the MLS information, you're also expanding and diversifying in other ways. What are some of the other things that you're working on? For a long time, in addition to uh, the MLS services, we've been providing public records to people outside of the real estate industry. Banking institutions, financial institutions, all the way down to someone like the pool guy who says, hey, I'm going to subscribe to your service. And he goes in, he logs in, he says, can I see all the properties with pools for this zip code? And from there, he can do his marketing. The public records, and we call it TMK, has been a very valuable tool for a lot of businesses to expand their marketing efforts. We're also looking at replicating what we've done in the real estate market and applying it elsewhere. What we've been able to do is we take all your data, put it in a place, a database, and then we create a way for your clients or consumers to interact with that data in a way that is meaningful or useful to them. And that, to me, that's really what we're experts at. So we are looking definitely at doing more of that in other industries. We're also looking at expanding our website business. Um, we have some extremely talented web designers here with a lot of uh, creativity and foresight into as to where web design is going. You have a lot of female leaders in your company. Yes. Is that conscious or just sort of happened or? You know, it, it just sort of happened. You know what's good about our leadership is they all came from operations and they all were workers. And so a lot of times when you hit the upper echelons of a company, you have 
leaders that don't understand operations. So we're very fortunate to have leaders that know what it means to get in there and work. What advice would you have for other women who are in companies who dream of being a leader someday? You should always speak your truth and just say what's on your mind. It's better to have it come out and have to, you know, fix the delivery later, but so that you have communicated to someone that, hey, this makes a difference for me. And that starts with you knowing that you make a difference. So I was very lucky to grow up in a, in a family where I always knew I made a difference. You know, and this is actually, generally speaking, as a leader, you have to be able to have the difficult conversation. I have seen the effects of not having the conversation and have it impact the bottom line. But I do credit a former roommate who was a nurse, and she's the one that taught me the art of the difficult conversation. What's the secret? First, you have to just come from the space of, you're not doing it to break something, you're doing it to heal something, fix something. And you know, until you get there, then maybe you shouldn't say anything. You know, but it's really making sure your intention is clean. Seems like you've had a role in just about every aspect of the organization. I have, you know, and that's actually what I like to do. My first job, I ended as an operations manager, but I started out washing cars. I love doing it that way because you really do get to know all of the aspects of the company, you know, so that when you are in a position to do something, you know what you need to do. This is quite an accomplishment for a girl from Pepe Akeel on the Big Island. Yes, it is. <laughs> Your family must be very proud. Yeah, you know, I, I hope that they, I believe that they are. How did your upbringing on the Big Island contribute to who you are now? Wow, it's, you know what, it's everything. It taught me that getting up early is not a bad thing. You know, you get a lot done when you get up early. So I actually, you know, grew up uh, in the beginning with my grandparents. That lifestyle, you know, you just put your head down and do the work. You know, you don't complain, but they still taught me how to say, hey, that's not working for me. What I learned was, you know, it's, it's good to give of yourself, and it's good to help someone else before you help yourself. And that's really what I learned growing up in the Big Island. I mean, that's how they are. My whole family works hard. My, my grandparents, my uncle, my auntie, my mom, I mean, all of the grandchildren, we all work incredibly hard. Your grandfather was a plantation worker, you said. Yeah, he was actually one of the first Filipino manager in the plantation. He was amazing. If, if when I leave this place, I can be an eighth of what he was, I will go a very good person. And you say now when you go back with your big title, nobody cares. Yeah, they don't care. So that's, and I, I love it, you know? I mean, and that's how it should be. I hope that I never change, but I think I have a pretty big network of people that will tell me if I do, which is great. What keeps you excited about coming to work? Every oh, day? the people, for sure. You know, when I was growing up, I was actually very much the artist, draw, paint, sing. And I used to write songs all the time. I used to do a lot of creative writing, and I don't do any of that now. And, um, you know, so people ask me, Faith, do you miss your music? Do you miss your art? And I say, work is my art right now. So all of my passion, everything that I am goes into this place and the people. And that's what gets me up. I love it here. This is where I want to be.